My name is T and I'm the Teen STEM Coordinator at Girls Inc. of Orange County. My pronouns are she and her and today we're learning how STEM intersects with cookies. So how does baking relate to STEM? Well, in a few different ways. First off, you're doing chemistry when you're baking. A chemical reaction is happening when you add heat. So at first you have a mixture of ingredients and then you stick it in an oven and you put heat into it and you're changing the composition of those ingredients. A way you can tell that you're making a chemical reaction is that your end product cannot be deconstructed back to your original products. So you can't take the eggs or the flour out of your cookies, if that makes sense. The second component is that it's math. Very important to baking, but if you do not do your math correctly, you will not get the end product that you sought out to get. So let's get baking. What we'll need. Ingredients. Flour, butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, baking soda, eggs, and chocolate chips. Appliances. An oven, and optionally a refrigerator and a timer. The refrigerator would be to chill your dough. Tools. You'll need a bowl, a cookie sheet, something to mix with. Cooking spray or butter works fine too and optionally cling wrap if you're chilling your dough and a cooling rack for cooling off your cookies. Let's talk about baking safety. Always wash your hands when you're cooking or baking. If you need to tie up your hair, tie up your hair, no matter how long or short, if it's in your face, we don't want it there. Always use oven mitts when you're opening the oven and make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing. You don't wanna burn yourself on the door. And finally, place the hot cookie sheet on a heat proof surface. So this means don't put it on plastic, a lot of tiles can crack, glass definitely cracks. I like to put it on the stove. That is for sure a heat proof surface. Here's the recipe I used before I converted it. So you might notice that this recipe looks a little funky. This recipe makes 17 batches of cookies. It will be posted in the description below or you can screenshot it. This is your challenge. Bake with me and see if you can do the math to get the recipe right for one batch of cookies. We'll meet back and see how our cookies turned out. mixing the world of STEM and cookies. I challenge you to convert another recipe and maybe challenge your friends and family to do the same. Before you leave, here's something to think about. What do you observe as proof of a chemical reaction? How did this prove how math is useful and used every day? Is it easier for you to convert a recipe to make more or less? Where else does math sneak into your daily life? Don't forget that you are strong, smart, and bold. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.
Oh, and uh, don't forget to enjoy what you made. I'm pretty good. <laughs>